<laughs> forgot to remove the, <laughs> the thumbnail. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. We're Odile and Steve Remit, founders of The Remit Method. And we help coaches and entrepreneurs who know they have value to give to the world, but their doubts and fears have been holding them back uh, from reaching their potential. Hey, if you're joining live uh, the, today, go ahead and let us know where you're tuning in from in the in the chat. Yes. And if you are watching the replay, go ahead and uh, let us know where <laughs> in the world you're tuning in from uh, in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. All right. So today's topic. Today's topic. What is today's topic? Today's topic, rewiring your identity for business success. Yes, indeed. Okay. What well, let's, let's, let's dive into that a little bit. I, I think that, uh, for me, it's that, that, um, that experience. And I'm just wondering if, if uh, others have had that experience of like going to a workshop or a seminar, or you've, uh, you, you purchase another course or whatever. And, you know, there's, <laughs> I'm thinking of a, uh, I'm thinking of a, uh, a workshop that I went to. And, you know, there's that, that high paid, that high paid motivational speaker that is up front, um, letting you know that, you know, the key to your success is changing, changing your self image and you know, what you, what you believe about yourself and all that. And it's like, boy, I remember, you know, that experience and, and maybe, you know, maybe you've had that experience too of, of, you know, just trying really hard, grunting really hard to try to change your self image or you're, you're trying to visualize something else. And it's just, it just doesn't seem to land or you might be able to hold it for <laughs> a few minutes or a few days or something. And then it just kind of like fades away or whatever. And then you're looking around and you know, you're seemingly to see other people that have like, uh, they, they figured it out. They figured out how to change their self image or, or whatever. So I, I'm just, I think that that's kind of where we're moving here today to kind of talk about, yeah, it's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent important or, mm -hmm. uh, vital mm -hmm. to your business to really have an understanding of your, your self image and then being able to change that, to change the course of your business. But how do you do that? Right, exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, I know that one of the reasons we came up with this topic is mm -hmm. yesterday I started listening to a um, to an audio book that and I'm, I'm still only on chapter one, but I want to recommend it anyway as well, mm -hmm. um, because so far it's really good. And it is a, um, a book called You O.U. Um, and it's by Eric. Thomas, PhD, and I wanted to uh, share. You know, I was I was taking a walk yeah. listening to it, and this quote I thought was so good. And I'm like I said, I'm only on chapter one, but this quote was so good that I actually um, emailed myself from my phone the quote so that I would remember to share it. And it is: What do you got? You can change environments, but until you change mm. yourself, nothing will change. So. You can change environments, but uh, you can change environments. <laughs> Hold on a second, because I want to get this clean with, with the podcast. <laughs> so. You can change environments, but until you change yourself, nothing will change by Eric Thomas, PhD. And uh, the, the, the point of that is that is absolutely spot on. And, you know, that is something that we... We all, most of us know, and, and a lot of people are teaching that. But as you said, how do you do that? Yeah. And so there are various um, methods like, um, you know, uh, affirmations and visualization and even self-hypnosis and subliminals and that kind of thing. I don't know yet what Eric Thomas is going to, what his method is going to be, because as I say, I'm only on chapter one. But the problem with a lot of those other methods like affirmations, visualization, and so on, is that it works for some people. You know, we, we see people who have experienced those changes. They've, they've done the affirmations, they've done the visualization, and they become more confident. They become successful because they've changed themselves. Mm. But 
for a lot of people, and I know I was definitely one of them, I think you were probably as well, we mm -hmm. do that, uh, we do the things, and but but nothing changes, or like you say, it lasts for a short period of time. And what we've discovered is that your self, -im all of us, self-image is actually in its physical construct, uh, so to speak, in the brain. This is a physical thing. So, you know, we were saying earlier, there's so much talk about the mind and mindset and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm, and it seems... Mm -hmm you know, like intangible. Well, yeah, it's like there's no place that you can actually go to. A, a, a surgeon couldn't open you up and extract your mind. So, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, the brain. <laughs> the brain. <laughs> so, and and the whole concept of the mind is, of course, from a, a long time ago in history. And it's from before we were able to, um, if scientists were able to look inside the brain physically mm -hmm. and understand mm -hmm. what's going on and, um, you know, imagery and that kind of thing. So what we know now is that thoughts are connections between neurons or nerve cells in the brain, meaning thoughts are physical and they produce chemicals that cause the feeling. So for most of us, we the reason we can't, we don't think of it as physical and it's really difficult to think it seems so intangible is because we can't actually feel it happening. We can't feel the physical connections that are happening in the brain. Uh, and instead we feel the emotions throughout our body and that then perpetuates mm -hmm. that illusion that mm -hmm. this is not a physical thing. The great news is because it's physical, um, well, not because it's physical. <laughs> the fact that it's physical doesn't mean that it's not changeable. And so the great news is that the construct of who you are, your self-image, can be changed. You can change it to uh, whatever you want. So to match the success that you want. And yeah, and that's and and I think that's really kind of where we're wanting to go with this a little bit today is kind of break that down a little bit more because I know that this is this is a relatively new concept and I think that it's, it's not out there yet, mm -hmm. you know? So that's where, and you know, for those of us that have experienced that feeling of really trying to change your self image, but feeling like you're getting stuck or the wheels are spinning, but nothing's happening kind of thing. It's recognizing that there's really nothing wrong with you. It's just that we haven't had the tools. Uh, we haven't had an understanding of how the machinery is working in the background. And most importantly, the fact that we actually can change. Yes. We can change the structure. And in so doing, you're changing your self-image. Right. And that's that that's the, the cool and empowering part of all of this. So that's where we're where we're kind of diving into today. So um I wanted to mention go, the other yep. the analogy. So the one of the analogies that we um that we feel is a really good one is if you wanted to drive from mm -hmm. wherever you are now, let's say you're in the city and you want to drive to the beach, what most of us have been doing all, uh, you know, all along and what most, you know, gurus and, and mentors and that teach is in order to get from where you are now to your success, the success you want, you need to change who you are and all of that. And then they give you instructions to get to the beach, from the city to the beach. So from where, where you are to the, the results you want. However, what most people don't know yet, because as you say, it's still, this information mm -hmm. is still new, mm -hmm. is that the GPS of your vehicle is still set for where you are. The, the, the GPS of your vehicle is still set for the city. So every time you start heading in the direction of the beach, your GPS is turning you around and taking you back to the city because that's what it's programmed with. So what we are, um, what we've discovered is that when you change the GPS from the city to the beach, then you get there automatically. So then you, your GPS will keep you in alignment with that new destination. And in other words, changing the, the brain's GPS, that part mm -hmm. of the brain that forms your self-image and, and worldview to what you want to be 
and where you want to uh, get to, then your brain is automatically keeping you in alignment with that new self-image and those results that you want to achieve. Yeah. And it, as, as you're talking about this, um, you know, I'm having a bit of a, a, a remembering of what that, that feeling was like for me, that I was, I was trying to move in the direction, you know, of, of, a, of self-image of feeling like, uh, I'm a successful entrepreneur. I'm a successful business owner. I'm a successful coach. And, you know, you, you, it's, it's kind of like you've got these wide eyes and you're like trying to imagine that. And then, but the feeling in the background, the feeling, or there's a, there's kind of this knowing or this haunting or whatever in the background, it's like, well, that's not who I'm really, that's not who I really am, mm -hmm. you know? And it, and it, and it's that, I don't know, that struggle or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what? Yeah, I was just kind of want. Could we break that down a little bit more? Yeah, well, I want to add to that that that's not that that was your your experience, but I I had a different experience with that. Mm. In other words, so for me, I did all of those things. I did the affirmations and the visualizations, and mm -hmm. I actually did feel it. Mm. I felt I felt like I was successful. I felt like I was confident. I really fully embraced and and soaked myself in it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that didn't change anything what it changed what how i happened? felt okay. it changed how i felt yeah. but it didn't change the results i was i was still stuck i was still you know taking massive action and doing all the things that i'm supposed to do but i wasn't getting the results people weren't buying my thing you know, when I did the the website, the the, Just the um, one thing, the the, uh, the e commerce yeah. e commerce yeah. website that I did yeah. at one point, and I was working fourteen hours a day and doing everything they say to do, and following the steps exactly, and yet nobody was buying. And when someone eventually did buy it mm -hmm. by, by one of the products, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the the drop shipping had gone up so much that I ended up paying. <laughs> more than I got from the customer by then. <laughs> so those kinds of things were happening all along the way. And then I discovered, so I just want to go back. In fact, before I continue with that, I just want to go back to this quote. I'm pointing over there because oh. it's on my screen. Oh, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, this quote by um, Eric Thomas. So the, the fact that you can change environments but until you change yourself, nothing will change. And, you know, that's that's such a powerful quote. And as we say, the, the, the problem is how to change. But I just wanted to take, I just want to add something to this, mm. is that you can change your job. You can change what, you, you know, what your business you're doing. You can change where you live. You can change your target market. You can change um, your relationship, you know, leave a relationship, go to a different relationship. You can change all of that. But the problem with it is you take yourself with you. So I just want to really uh, put a spotlight on that because it's natural for us to think um, I need to, uh, well, if I just get a different job yeah. or if I just, you know, work with different people or if I just uh, buy a different course or follow a different guru. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or um, do a different marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. And all of those things may have worked for other people or they, you know, depending on what their GPS is set for. Mm -hmm. So one person can do a certain, take certain action or make a change and their GPS is set for that result anyway, that's not going to be a problem. They're going to get the, the results. But the reason it doesn't work for perhaps another person like me, uh, the way I was, is that my GPS was still set, my brain's GPS was still set for being stuck and frustration and low self-worth and all of that. You change the GPS, the, re the rest is automatic. So I, I want to just clarify, because I think that's a really good way of looking at it. You can change your circumstances, you can change your environment, as Eric Thomas says, but you take yourself with you. Mm -hmm. Now, when you mm -hmm. change yourself, then you will be drawn to different people. You'll find yourself making different yeah. decisions. Yeah. So you'll end up with different circumstances automatically. Yeah. So uh, let's 
you know, I know that it's a, it's big and we obviously we, we go into this in a lot more detail uh, in, you know, the work that we've been doing, you know, our book, uh, the webinar that we have available and that kind of thing. So but I'm I'm also wanting to um, explain just a little bit more or could we kind of break open just a little bit more about what we're what we're actually talking about when we're talking about GPS. You know, it's like because we're also, you know, the GPS is not. <laughs> that's not something that we're going to be able to open up the inside and find that either. So th what is that structure? What, do, what are we talking about when we're talking about the GPS? So, um, and, and like you say, it's too big a topic to go mm -hmm. into right now. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the free webinar. So I've put the, the sign up. So the, you can find, you can find the registration link for our new webinar uh, I mean, you can find the registration <laughs> link for our uh, free webinar on our website. I'm trying to do this for podcast as well. That's why. Um, okay, so uh, we could do that. Or if you're watching us on YouTube, the link is in the description of this video. So you can register for that webinar. As I say, it's free. And that goes into depth exactly what where in the brain you can find this GPS, what the GPS is, how it works, and most importantly, how it can be changed, what you need to do in order to change your GPS so that it matches the results you want to achieve. So, and, and that's really the, um, it, it, bearing in mind it's, it's physical, this is not, um, you know, intangible, this is a physical thing that you can do to change your brain that will change your self image and then the results in your business will be automatically because uh, automatic because you're a different person you you have and of course this is not like you're changing yourself completely this is you get to choose what you want to change about yourself so you get to choose i want to be more confident i want to be able to um do cold calling or i want to be able to speak to people or i want to feel um comfortable on camera or i want to um uh, easily put into uh, put into action the steps I need to take, or I want more time in my day. I want to be better at time management. All of the things that mm -hmm. you wish you were different, you can change that part that that aspect of your brain to match that. And as I say, it's physical; it's not intangible. The other thing I wanted to point out is that. We, you know, we all know what we need to do. Well, most of us know what we need to do in order to move our business forward and, and reach success. And there are plenty of really good teachers and mentors out there and marketing gurus and, you know, sales trainers and all of that. However, it all comes down to what we do, what we're prepared to do, and then what we put into action. And that's another thing that um, Eric Thomas mentions in his book, in the in the beginning of his book, um, You Owe You, is that the only person that can change your life and make, make you a success is you. We're, we're the only ones in here that can, that can make those differences. And the the challenge is being able to um, to take those steps, and so be you know having the confidence, having the uh, the oh this is the bit I wanted to say is that there are people who you know let's say massive action let's say mass you know the the idea of taking massive action and hustling and all of that. Mm -hmm. Some people do that and they succeed. Some people do that and don't succeed like, like me, and others just can't get themselves to do it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now, there are, for the ones who can't get themselves to do it, and for there's a lot of um, reasons for that. So I, uh, I don't have enough time, mm -hmm. but there are people who have the same amount of time in the day and do do it. So it's that's an illusion, don't have enough time. So that's maybe time management or delegation. There are solutions to that because there are people who do manage to do it. Uh, there's, you know, I, um, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have the skills or I don't know what to do. Again, there are some people who don't know what to do or don't have the skills and then they find out. 
So they find a way to learn it, uh, to develop those skills and so on, and then they do it. So the point I'm making with this is that the surface reasons, the reasons we think are the reasons we can't take action or can't make those decisions, are not the real reasons. Again, it's the brain's GPS. And and again, I encourage you to, to register for that free webinar to find out more on that bigger topic. Yeah. And, but just hitting the, the surface of that, you know, it, it, it's an understanding that it's, it's about what we have experienced. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's what we've experienced in the past, you know, that has formed this self image and, and how we, how we perceive ourselves in the world and that kind of thing that is driving how we're moving forward. Um, so, uh, understanding that, and it's, it's an understanding of going back and working with and rewiring that information, that data that is in the brain. All right. So I think that's it for, for this time. And we hope to see you on that webinar. And, um, is that it until next time? All right. All Did, right. yeah. Did we want to check if there was questions? Oh, there's no comments. Uh, right okay. Now. Very good. All right. Bye-bye everybody. Bye for now.